Guys, we come down to the beautiful Kilmarnock Brassy Golf Club, and today I'm going to be taking on a challenge. I've got half a set of golf clubs, and this man here has a full set of golf clubs. We're going to play nine holes here, front nine at Kilmarnock Brassy. This club, by the way, it has hosted some amazing events, and also it's got the most players to have a feature in the Walker Cup. It's actually produced four Walker Cup players, so I'm Seriously. expecting that this course is going to be um, quite a test and have um, a lot of skills to be tested out there. So fire away, we'll play stroke play. Stroke play. We'll I'm play under a severe amount of pressure here, by the way. Why? Because I've got all of the, the weapons in my arsenal. That's it, so do you actually need a full set or will half a set go be good enough for you? You've got seven clubs for me, 14 for Andy. We'll run through what those are shortly. Let's go, par yeah. five down the first. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. see ya. That was nice. That was a good golf shot. Just left of that trap. Oh, well done. Thanks. Oh, Ooh, it's uh, just over those traps on the right. Yeah, big bounce. Big bounce should be okay. Not the start we wanted, but we'll get away. Okay, so just before we hit my second shot, just show you what I've got. So I've only got seven clubs, 14 is the maximum you can have. I've got six, four, eight wedge, and then a lob wedge. And then I've got my putter and I've got my driver. So I've got a teeing off club, and I've got a long and mid, some short irons and a, a couple of wedges there. So I should have theoretically every base covered. Probably the only bit where I've got a gap, my four iron goes to 15, 220, and then drivers like 285 carry. So I've got 60 yard gap there, but I don't think I'll be in too much of either. All right, so I'm just gonna have to try and hack this out up the fairway and leave myself a wedge in or something. I'm gonna go eight iron actually, just to make sure I get up. It's a bit wet and a bit juicy that. That's nicely out. I don't really know what's up there. I literally can't see anything. I can see the top of the flag. So I suppose I'll try and be as accurate as possible and see what happens, really. It's a pushy, but it's fine. Well, I say it's fine. I've got no idea if it's fine. It's bouncing a few times. It looks right good. Of the green. Huh? Short right of the green. Bryce had a really good shot. Take that. Right, we've got 83 yards, so lob wedge. That's a 95 club. I think just a three quarter one of these and just let it bounce up, traditional link styly. I think that's what's gonna be good about a half set. I've got to like manufacture more shots instead of just thinking about golf swing. Pulled it a bit. Oh, it's gone a long way. It's gone a little bit far, but we're putting for birdie, so. Don't need all them clubs. Just need a few and you can get round. I'm gonna open the blade up a touch. Don't need to get too cute with it, there's loads of space. But I obviously do wanna get it up and down. So, a little bit open. I've got a little up slope as well, so a little launch pad. Help get a bit more height. Sit there, sit there, sit, sit, sit. Oh, God, it's rolled on miles. Get in. I saw that breaking and it was dead straight. <laughs> That's one of your putts, that. I'm better than that. I tell you what, the greens look yeah, they're lush. absolutely immaculate, don't they? Right, I've got this just outside the right edge. Mine will break. Depends if he shapes it or not. <laughs> you fading or drawing this one? Depends what figure of eight comes out. <laughs> Ooh, I mean, that's where I actually wanted to aim. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think ball. it's a bit, a bit of a sneaky pin, that, isn't it? You can take that. Thanks. Right. Oh, yeah. So after Just one wanting. hole of a half set via full set, we are both level par. Let's get into the next hole, which looks fantastic, this next one. Never played here before, and already I can see it's going to be a great golf course. I'm going three wood. A little three wiggle. You're going three wood, I'm going to go four iron because that's all I've got, it's driver or four iron, that's where my predicament comes in. Shot. Lovely strike, Matthew. That properly hit. 
That's great. Well down there. Nice shot, sir. Thank you. I was happy with that one. Hopefully that leaves me a six iron or an eight iron in. All right, this needs to go as far off as possible. I leave myself as short as possible. Oh, that was not a great strike. Ooh, oh, fantastic. Hello. Straight at those bunkers. In that's those exciting. Land soft or go big or stay short or... Poor shot, that. A little bit high on the face. Safely in the fairway, I've got 166 yards to the, uh, to the flag, so perfect for an eight iron. Um, it's going to plan at the moment, this half set stuff. Oh no, I've leaked it right. Just can't get the ball starting left at the minute. Oh, that is in a bunker. That yeah, is not back, good. That is a back of a bunker, right? mistake. That was an unforced error. Lots of, yeah. lots of room left, got greedy. Got greedy. Slightly high on the face, down the right hand side to keep it short of the water. <laughs> Jammy, some would say. 102 yards to go. More jam than Hartley's. <laughs> there are other jam companies. Um, 102, I don't, I, I, I'm not a big fan of this yardage, if I'm honest. No? No. You've got enough clubs though to sort it out. You've got 54. <laughs> I've got options. 58. I've gone 58. This is a little bit downwind. I feel like it's playing a bit shorter. Yeah. It's a little 90, little 95 yarder. Needs to go a bit. That's it. <laughs> Your calls are so bad sometimes. <laughs> it's bad eyes, I've just got bad eyes. I'm on the green though. You know what, I've kept it really safe with the big pull. That is brutal. Wet sand as well. Wet sand. Oh. Hmm. I think this one will stop quickly. Um, it may have a touch of release, so I'd allow for it. Yeah. One little tip, if you ever get a lie like that, try and use this part of the golf club, the heel, it's really sharp. So when you're in, lay your hands a little bit more lower, so then that heel will dig through a bit more. Um, and also praying also helps generally in this sort of circumstance. Loads of loft and just down into it. Well out. Sit. Spin, spin. <sighs> that was just brutal there. <laughs> But that's what you get missing the green with a eight iron. Oh, it's in the other, there's another bunker. Well, folks, um, it's nothing to do with the half set that I'm having issues here, but we have found the back of the bunker. Lynx bunkers are just so evil. I've got ledge here or lip and then there, but pray for Matt. Could be back in that other bunker in a minute. This is horrible, mate. Could be back over the other side. Oh, well played. Oh. <laughs> that would have been a nice par, wouldn't it? That would have been a decent par. That would have been a decent par. I really could do with hole in this because otherwise it opens up a big lead for the cart man. I thought you had that. Yeah. It would have been very typical Matt Fryer that. That's the wrong side of the hole. Why did I? Oh, oh dear. God. Stop, stop. Oh dear, oh dear. Andy Carter had a rush of blood to the hands. I honestly read that as right to left and now I can see it's clearly not. You've been for your eyes tested recently. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, not, I'm being serious. <laughs> Thank God for that, that was wor I was worried. I was genuinely worried. Right, we're on the third hole. Let's say par four, heading back out towards the sea. Aaron in the distance, 430 yards. Looks like a nice tough one, this one. Well shaped, isn't it? Yeah. Nicely framed. Nicely framed, well done. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Driver the play? Yeah, I think it's driver at the, see the, the flag? Just, just where the left. And a little cutty of that. that Driver's the play. That is so good. Oh, proper that, wasn't it? That was all right, wasn't it? Good shot, Matthew. Just over that trap. Bounding down. Safely over the bunker. Yeah, just coming into the fairway now. Oh, good, good angling for that as well. Whew. Let's hope it's an eight iron or a six iron. Right, 132 to go. Fryer has hit it past me, so he's gonna let you all know that in a minute. So I'll let him take his glory. Uh, a little bit downwind. Just got a little punchy wedge, really. I don't really feel like I need a lot of this. 132. No, we're going to go down to gap wedge. Gap wedge is a 125. So if I land it 125 with a bounce and a bit of wind, it should finish at 132. Quick maths, come on. 
It's a great line. It's a decent shot. Oh, touch shy maybe. Spinning back. It's spinny. Yeah, it was very, very spinny backy. Hoyle could have done with it going forwards. If I've managed to get the yardage right, that is bob on. Yeah, good shot. Oh, it's a comeback. The comeback's on, folks. Nice shot, Matthew. I do like that with the half set. You're not just like, oh, I hit it full out and I have to do this with my golf swing. You're just thinking about controlling the flight and the distance that you hit it. It's a good way to learn, I think, how to play a lot of shots. Can't believe he's making me put this, folks. He knows my pedigree. We'll see, though. He might. He might cave in with a few. Go on. You want to see this in? You you want to see me put this? He's got quite a long one. Tricky put this. It is tricky. If he gets inside my ball, he's done well. Turn, turn, turn more, turn more and slow down. Turn more and slow down. Spin back. I'll take that. Good, good. Easy yeah. Par. Huh? Good, good. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a good YouTube channel. Um, Still you, is it? It actually is still me. I'm good, yeah. good. Yeah, fine. Yeah, so you can have yours Thanks. and I can have mine. You can have yours and I can have mine. See, folks, I talked him into it. Talked him into it. I'm happy with that. He's not going to miss I know. I, know I was never going to miss that. that. Never going to miss that. Right, so we've clawed one back. Goes to a level, level par for Andy. And one over for me. On to the fourth. This is meant to be a stunner of a hole. Right fourth hole this is an absolute stunner like looks like railway sleepers all down the left hand side of the green that have got quite a sheer drop about five or six feet and then you're in a burn right it's 170 six iron or eight iron i think i'm gonna have to smash an eight iron it would be a seven iron normally but we're not fortunate enough to have one of those in the bag Travel up, travel up, travel up. Oh, that bounce. Oh, Matt Fryer, that bounce. The back-to-back -back king could be coming out here. That's oh, about, you're... what, six foot, you reckon? Hmm. That was lovely. I hit that nice. Little, tiny bit heathy, if anything. The bounce was humongous. Like, landed it short of the green, then bounced up. You're having a laugh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's pitched and stopped, pretty much. Let's see how good the zoom was. When they see the footage back, <laughs> you will be made to look a fool. <laughs> and we have come to the conclusion that my eyes are not great. Yeah. Can't trust things playing a par for it. Hey, oh, look, there's like a little bowl there. A what? A little bowl or stoat or whatever they're called. It's a rat. It's not a rat. <laughs> You're so uneducated. <laughs> <laughs> Must have missed oh, that bit of school. Oh, go and pet it. Look at it. Look at it. Come across the tee. Oh. Oh no. You've pured it. Turn on it. Turn on it. That's going to kick left, I reckon. Look at the bounce on that one. I've hit it too far. You're just a big boy, aren't you? Big boy. Just a massive lad. Car to with about 30 feet down the slope, and I've got all the four feet. That's a good putt. Oh wow. Turn the other way. Oh no, I knew it was going to turn uh, that way, just not that much. I'll give All you right. that one. Yeah, you can you can take that, sir. All right then. All right, to uh, go back to back and square the match up. Yeah, get back to level par. There we go, folks. Back to back birdies, half set. We're going on to the fifth and this one. I'm saying it about them all. This looks like a brilliant golf hole. What a spot of land, hey? Golfer's paradise. Down there, heading towards that little bush. <laughs> Not a sentence you like to hear. Just run out of fairway there. Is it? Yeah. Pitched a couple of bounces on the fairway, then it's gone through. It? Oh, look at you now. Plenty of options. Not hitting driver. Just get three wood. Just going. Oh, have little, you seen this, folks? Just a little pokey three wood down there. If you got them, use them. He's just saying that I'm on the comeback trail, and he's playing defensive. Defensive? <laughs> yeah. He's playing smart. You've drove it like God. Yeah, so now I'm going to drive the three-wood like So off. now you're going to just lay up short when you could get it close. Can't get it close. Oh no. Great shot with that three-wood, that. <laughs> that was a really Over the white poles. It's right of it. I lost it in the air, to be honest. 
to yeah, it's just down near the uh, the brown heathery stuff not great should have it driver <laughs> in hindsight with the three wheel i get a bit scared of flipping it left i'm expecting a bit of a flyer here but 137 i've got a gap wedge i think that was a bit of a flyer to be fair a bit of a jumper get to down get over. down Ooh, big <laughs> Huh? Little bit big. Right, I've got a, a proper juicy roughy lie here, so I'm just gonna hack to the middle of the green. I've only got 80 yards, but just need to bounce it up on. On the dance floor, but that was seriously juicy from there. Right, played for and got a bit of a jumper. Just missed it left a little bit though tricky little chip back up the hill though. I've got a 58 degree little chunk in charge oh not bad from that it was you got to be so aggressive through that stuff haven't you horrible yeah juicy about 80 feet this luckily it's fairly flat it's traveling oh it's done well good effort just outside the zone I'm afraid just outside the fence zone, that? Yeah. I gave me shit for If I hold this, you can have it. Go on, then. Oh. Oh. You can have That's that That's a one. disappointing bogey. There we go, folks. He's back in the lead. Back in the lead? One over par from Carter. <laughs> Level par with just half the amount of golf clubs. <laughs> Right, we're on the six hole, another one running straight down the train track line. Gorgeous framed hole, some dunes, par four, 440 yards. Looks miles away. For a short knocker like you, yeah. Yeah, it's a three shotter for me, this. <laughs> Just leaking a little bit right, it's gonna be left of that trap, but. Oh, it's right in the middle of it. <laughs> Just over the top of the trap, actually. I've gone over it. <laughs> <laughs> Done okay. Hopefully, it's not too bad over there. Oh, hold your line. There's a trap down that side on the left edge. It's left of that. Did I see a bounce? I thought I saw a bounce. To be fair, not sure. I can't let him beat me, can I? Half a set of clubs. That's just plain, plain embarrassing. Right, we've just come over that little knoll there where the bunker is and actually got an okay lie here in the rough. We've got 170 up to the flag that's just over this little knoll. I think it's going to be like a three quarter eight. It's downwind a little bit, so just feel one in here. Ooh, leave it. It should be good. Just left of the flag. Sit, sit. Yeah. Pin high, left edge of the green, that'll do. Definitely makes you think more about your shots this half set because I probably would have just smashed a nine iron normally there, but I've had to find it and, and feel it. Right, 150. I'm gonna try and get th cut through all this. Just going to the right hand side of the green. Yeah, front right, oh, that it's okay. That stops so fast. Right, two balls on the green. It's now a battle of the blade. Andy's first to put, then me. Let's see if he can claw one back. He's, he's running out of holes now, folks. I can see the fear in his eyes. Come on, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Ah, nice, good read. Well done for once. <laughs> right, Matthew, three putts to level it back up. Hit it. At least you're aggressive. I've not hit it. That's annoying. On anyway. to seven. On to the seventh hole. Two pars. Mine was manufactured. Two. Andy's was just a just a bash, basically. Two decent pars after two poor drives. A bit of positives. Yeah. Right. Seventh hole. Five hundred and thirty-nine yards straight back into the wind. I don't know if we can get there in two. Ghost come. Driver three would. Just need to hit a fairway. I feel like it's been a few holes now without a fairway hit. Well, actually, because it has been a few holes without a fairway hit. Oh, God, that was awful. That's like... That's off the 
on it right. That was a bit it's spinny. I mean, I reckon I've hit that about 180. That was so spinny off the face then. 10 yards further than normal. <laughs> right, let's see if we can capitalize down here now then get in front of him. And um, if you are enjoying as well, remember hit that subscribe button, go and hit his as well. No shot, Matthew. Wind's got that a bit more than expected. Ooh, it's gonna miss right yards, rough. 100 yards past mine. Yeah, just trickled into the semi there. Bit too much shapey wapey on it, but it'll do. Right, I'm gonna go for a layup. I can't really see where I'm going. I'm just gonna to hit to the part of the fairway that I can see, which is about 160, into wind. Got a seven iron, I'm gonna try and punch a seven iron. The line's actually not that bad. Little turn on me would be nice. Perfect, I think. Yep. Just in the rough. Yeah, it's not actually made the fairway, has it? No. It's annoying. And to think you've got all those clubs to use as well. <laughs> you've not even picked the right one. <laughs> well, I said I've got too much you choice. idiot. Right, we're in the rough. Only just got into the semi here. I've got, it's about 250, I think. But I'm going to hit a four iron just to lay up because that's the longest I have. And I can then just leave myself with... In fact, I'm going to hit six iron because that's going to fly out of that line. So, Go for it. No. I'll lay up again. Hit it 200, leave myself about a 60 degree pitch. I think I've done the same as rough you and just caught the, the yeah. last bit of rough. <laughs> good layups. Yeah, to be fair though, I only had half a set. That's my excuse. Yeah, that's a good excuse. Right, I've got 98 to the flag. Into, isn't it? Off, into and off the left. Yeah. Imagine not 85 the covers that bunker. Got a little 54 degree. That's really good. That is really good. That long? Oh. Just gone a little bit long. It's just released up the green. Good effort, though. I just feel like I had to put my um, short mash to follow through that. I thought I was going to take Cubs head off. <laughs> I felt that on my last one. I felt like I went through like that and went, whoop, <laughs> bring that back. It's a strange one because I could almost like run it up the green a little bit. I think this is the right club though. Potentially if I had one other wedge, I'd maybe flight it in a little bit lower, just keep it. A little eight iron chip and run. I was like, that is a potential shot with a pitching wedge, but that traps there. So it's just a half swung 60. Go. Bit short, a little bit, yeah. I don't Look normally shy side, yeah. I'd normally hit a 54 that I'd pitch with that, but use this for more 30 yards and in. But that's what you got to do when you've got a half set, you've got to be creative. Got the yardage right anyway. Then you got the slam dunk. Oh, right, I need to hold this really, really need to hold this. I've got about a, two cups right. I'll hit it. Oh, that broke. It broke two cups right, it just didn't start two cups right. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. The ironic thing, folks, is uh, Carter's been doing loads of putting videos <laughs> this week. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> just belt it through Oof. the break. Oof. Oof. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Slippery little downhill left to right are coming back. Oh, you want me to put this? Absolutely. Nobody watching this video would give you that. I think they all would because they know my putting prowess. I thought they were shoving. <gasps> too cocky, Matthew. <laughs> too cocky. <laughs> Far too cocky. Didn't commit to it. You can right. have that one though. Oh, thanks, mate. Great bogey that. There Three foot from uh, 15 feet. Just well done, what I Matt. need. Right, uh, one over par each. Right, par four, 418 yards. Little dog leg from right to left. Lovely little shaping hole. Wind off the right as well. I think the right bunkers is the line with the little draw. Slash help from the wind. If that's the line, that was a great shot. It's right in the middle of the bunker, so if it... You've got to be over that trap, I would think. I hope so. No, no, oh, I'm not going to push it. it well right. 
Oh, I saw a couple of bounces. Yeah, I've seen it bouncing three or four times. Oh, so. oh Matthew, not mm. your May West. Carter in the driving seat after the AFT shot. Right, I've got 160 yards straight down the wind. This is like in between clubs here. So I think we'll go pitching wedge and because I'm coming out of the rough and it's downwind. Hopefully it gets a good couple of bounces up. Makes me commit to this as well then. It's right at the stick. Hopefully it gets a good bounce. Go on, keep going. Well, it's landed about 155 and just stopped dead. I thought it would have shot a bit more, but we've got a chance of redeeming myself after that daft three put on the last. I've got 106 downwind. Got a little 58 out again. Yeah, I had wedged that and I expected it to like jump up a little bit more, but it seemed to yeah, it dug in pretty much fun. stop dead. It's the pure back. strike though, that. Pure strike that does that. Pure strike, aren't you? Mm. So you're allowing for a bit of run? Huh? Well, you're not going to strike it pure. <laughs> I'm going to land it on the front edge of the green. That's got to go. Go. Another great call by Carter. <laughs> Sit as it was at the peak of its flight and it's just pitched near the front of the green. I did say I was going to land it on the front edge. I just felt like he was going to go miles then. I can see why they stopped pretty quickly now. There's quite a severe slope there is, up here. There? It's, uh, I chose the wrong club really. I should have just yeah. punched in like a 54 degree. It's a sneaky one there. Yeah, you had a lot of options there to run that up. Sit. Oh my God. Absolutely that brain. had every chance of going in. <laughs> that was an absolute hole... brain fart. <laughs> <laughs> the hole was four foot left of where I think it I told... hit where it was. I think I told it to sit before I hit it. <laughs> sit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> just drop this in. It just takes that stroke back from the left, just makes amends. And that hole has just gone to half the size for Carter now. Do you want it out? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honestly. You could physically see his heart sinking then when that dropped in. I'm not a violent guy, but... <laughs> but I right will. Now. Right now. Right, come on. Left to right. This is a horrible putt, by the way. Massive That's a great break. attitude, mate. Massive break, but I'm up to the task. Did you, gasp? Did yeah. you gasp? Did you gasp mid-stroke? I, I, I thought I pushed it. <laughs> well, I did push it. Thankfully, it didn't break as much as I thought. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh. Right, attacked. Well, Yeah. Nice. goes to one, in it. Carter's one. one over par. I'm level. We've got the ninth hole here to finish this nice little log off. Let's get to it. Right, we're on the ninth hole. It's three, five, seven. A gentle little dog leg around the corner, left to right. Let's, uh, let's finish this off in style. I'm, I'm not a birdie on this vlog, so... I in should... fact, I'm telling you, an absolute porky pie there, folks. Yes, eh? It's a dog leg right to left. Is it? No, it's yeah, not. look on the map over here, on the thingy. Oh... Yeah, so we're going round there. Oh, yeah, I thought, yeah, it does look like yeah. it sweeps that way, doesn't it? Yeah. How strange, he's just foxed us there, so Oof. always pay attention to the course guide, folks. I think you can go down the left side of the fairway here, then, and get a little cut on it. Let's do it, let's do it. Oh, he's called it and played it. That's a lovely shot. That is a golf ball just left of the trap. That should be Straight on the it. fairway, I think. I hope. Oh, two it, golf shots. I mean, it looks good. It's one of those ones that's probably not going to go as far as it looks. But I'll take it. Little draw into the wind, little tiny bit low on the face. But I'm happy with it. After today's performance, I really can't complain. So on Kilmarn at Brassy here, and just over behind this hole, literally over there, is where we're staying. Little lodges at Dungdonald. If you've uh, got a golf trip coming up to Ayrshire, they're literally the perfect location because you've got all the courses around here. We had to drive 15 minutes when we could say, actually we could... walk two minutes through the, uh, <laughs> the heather walk... and uh, gorse. We could definitely but... walk back faster. Yeah, should we have a race on the way back? <laughs> Right, I've got 103 yards 
I've gone down to the 54 this time, so I had the exact same yardage a couple of holes ago, last hole, and I hit a 58. I'm gonna go 54 this time. I'm saying nothing until it lands. Sit. How far did you have? 103. Right. Makes I've hit that pin high, I think. Pin high, but 30 foot left. <laughs> pin high, but 30 foot left. Thank you for that, Matthew. Pleasure. Right, I've got 95. Could have actually gone probably about 20 yards left of where that tee shot was, and we would have been down near here, but as you saw on the tee, I thought it was a dog leg left to right, so there you go. But 95, got my 60 out here. Get this close, it's just a good full one of these. It's straight at the stick, needs to go a bit. It's done okay out of that lie. Pretty good. So, half set, hasn't done me bad here. Hasn't done me bad, it's definitely helped with creativity and I've not really thought about golf swing at all. I've just been trying to hit different shots and feel it. So if you are getting a bit bogged down with your golf swing sometimes, I think coming out with a half set will probably clear your mind and make you try and play little different shots instead of getting overly technical. But let's get this wrapped up. Let me just roll one more in and then uh, we'll uh, see who the real champion is. I am due a putt, I'll be honest. I've not held one since 1992. Uh, you know, you've threatened them a lot. <laughs> you've really been close to holding so many. Why do I sense sarcasm in your voice? <laughs> <sighs> I can see a two shot swing happening here, you know. A little three wiggle from you. I roll one in. You've been smoking glue. <laughs> not since yesterday. Ooh, work to do. I can't believe it got that far. <clears throat> work to do. This I is. I was going to get down this slope a little bit more, but it was right on line, which is the annoying bit. Oh, he's feeling, feeling confident here, folks. Dangerous, the old putter. <laughs> the, you, the cameraman's in danger, yeah. <laughs> you got shin guards on. <laughs> <laughs> That's not nice, is it? <laughs> Four? <laughs> Never heard four shouted on a putting green, actually. <laughs> oh. He has as well, he's leathered it at him. <laughs> Context. <laughs> oh, I love oh. it. I love it. I feel like I pied every over, then I realised I'm actually one over. Yes, you are. Oh, you are indeed. One over the par eight, and eight pars and a bogey. Am I level? Yeah. 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 Put him. Put him. Put him. Put him. Put him. Put him. Oh, 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 straight off his face. <laughs> that is such an annoying ending by the way, to it. By the way, if I was to do that, the abuse I would get, this video would be 10 minutes longer with the amount of abuse he'd be It giving. would be. Guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit sub over there. Kilmarnock Brassy, if you're in the area of Ayrshire, come and check it out. It is a phenomenal golf course. It's fantastic. Very underrated. It's beautiful out here. Guys, see you in the next one. Oh, that was a, that was a horrible Can't believe. Stroke. Horrible stroke, Matthew. <sighs> I've got a new putting series coming out soon. Yeah, I'll watch that. <laughs> That's annoying.